While the condos, cranes, and construction sites across the downtown core are now affecting a vital service in our city. So we have learned that three to four food banks have recently shut their doors right here in the downtown core. And one of the reasons is because these neighborhoods are gentrifying so quickly, rent is through the roof. Yeah. And there's even fresh buns and stuff, I yeah. guess. We have a volunteer. Well, the Young Street Mission here on Girard Street is one of the few food banks open several days a week. Kate, who is a program supervisor, tells me there is a noticeable increase in the number of people using their service. How alarming is it for you to hear that three to four food banks have recently shut their doors? Due to rent, it's ridiculous. I think, I really think um, having that be the cause of food banks shutting down, I think something something needs to change if that's the case because you you feel it you yeah. see it every day there is a need in the in the heart of the city absolutely yeah I mean with I've I guess I've personally seen the effect like the impact of high rent and so knowing that there's families that are struggling with that and then have to turn to food banks for assistance and then being turned away because they're closed due to the same mm -hmm. situation is a little <laughs> it makes me mad to be honest According to the Daily Bread Food Bank, families in need are also leaving downtown Toronto in search of more affordable housing. In the first few months of 2017, the number of people using food banks in Scarborough jumped by a whopping 24 percent. High demand is also being seen in Etobicoke and North York, and we're being told that the demographic is changing. We're seeing more people with higher education using food banks. Yeah, so whereas 10 years ago, we might have had a quarter of, of our clients having post-secondary education, now a third of them do. So there's a university, college educated, um, and in many cases, it's, it's, it has to do more with the labor market, the precarity of work. Uh, not, so, not so much a uh, lack of education is making people vulnerable anymore. It's the lack of available, stable employment. Long-term employment, full-time work with benefits, it's, it's, it's harder to find and maybe people are having a greater difficulty finding that stable work. Now, food bank donations are being told often slow right down during the summer months, likely because people are on vacation. I'm also being told uh, that one thing that's needed uh, very badly is protein. So anything from peanut butter, beans uh, to meat. So if you're planning to make a donation, uh, protein is something that uh, is desperately needed. Um, now, for a closer look at... Um who is using food banks and where demand is significantly up. You can find all of that posted on our website, citynews.ca.